everyone. Welcome to Kiss Down with Jesus, brought to you by COPUSA. I am your host, Nina AJ. Hi, hi, children. Hi, 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 hi children. children. Oh, Amen. Oh, Amen. Jesus, friend oh, of little, little children. children. God bless you all for joining us today. Today, it has pleased the Lord that all of us has to come together and share the word of God through what? Fun, through learning and also what? Having fun with it. So Precious Ones, C-O-P-U-S-A, Children's Ministry. We are here. Some of the children have Zoomed in and are here with me. And you at home too, you are welcome in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. We are proud of you. We appreciate you. Call mommy and daddy to join. The fun has started. I will let the children that have Zoomed in here to introduce themselves. So we'll start with the first person. Hi, I'm Bella, and I'm from Atlanta District. Hi, I'm Jenny Bella from the Cincinnati District. Hello, my name is Benedict Bella from the Cincinnati District. Hello, my name is Patrick Aikens, and I'm from Charlotte PIWC District. Hi, my name is Ariel, and I'm from the Hartford District. Hi, my name is Mariam Impiani Ose, and I'm from Atlanta District. Hi, my name is Judith, and I'm from Atlanta District. Hi, my name is Jeremiah from the Tennessee District. Hi, my name is Joshua from the Tennessee District. Precious ones, you are all welcome to today's program. You are all welcome. We appreciate you. We love you. God bless you for, for, for being here. We really appreciate you, precious ones. And you at home as well. We love you so much. So precious ones, it has pleased the Lord that we are here again to learn another memory verse, right? I love memory verses. I love, love, love memory verses. And today, we are going to share our memory verse and our memory verse will be taken from Proverbs. Our memory verse today will be taken from Proverbs. So we're going to go and learn our memory verse for today. Let me go back here. Okay. So our memory verse for today is Proverbs chapter 20, verse 11. Proverbs chapter 20, verse 11. And I read, even children are known by the way they act, whether, whether their conduct is pure and whatever it is right. Amen. 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 So our memory verse for today is Proverbs 20, verse 11. Who can try for us? Who can try for us? We will let Judith. Try for us. Yes, Judith. Proverbs chapter 20, verses 11. Even children are known by the way they act, whether their conduct is pure and whether it is right. Amen. Amen. Fantastic. Fantastic. God richly bless you. That was a fantastic one, um, Judith. God richly bless you. So precious ones, practice this at home. Um, it's for the whole week. Practice it and share with a friend. Share with mom. Call your Sunday school teacher and share your memory verse with them. And God will richly bless you for that. So precious ones, God richly bless you. Today, we'll be talking about a character in the Bible. A character in the Bible. His name is Daniel. Daniel, Daniel, Daniel. Our topic for today is a reputation of strength. A reputation of strength. Um, our scripture reading will be taken from Daniel chapter 1, verse 1 to 21. Daniel chapter 1, verse 1, 20, uh, 1 to 21. It talks about Daniel chooses to honor God. Daniel chooses to honor God. And our lesson, the objective or the purpose of our learning today is that children will learn that what? Consistently living a pure and a holy life built strong and godly reputation, right? So before we do the scripture reading, who can who understand the word um, reputation? 
when we say reputation, how do you understand by the word reputation? Yes, Ajo. A reputation is how you want people to think or say about you. Reputation is how people think or say about you. Fantastic answer. God richly bless you. Smart one. Yes, reputation. Who also have a different definition on their own? Who want to share their way of understanding when we say reputation? How do you understand? Yes, um, um, Miriam. Like a character? Like a character. Yes, Judith. God bless you. Fantastic. Yes, Judith. Your hand was up too. Or oh, your sister said it. Yes. Oh, okay. Who else? Who want to try? Okay. So reputation is very, very important, right? The way I see, well, my definition of reputation uh, if I bring you to the uh, my practical example of reputation is when, when they hear the name um, um, Auntie Nina, what do people say about me? Is it, is it good or bad, right? Is it good or bad? What are some of the things that I do that when I'm not there or when people see me, they can actually say that, oh, this is actually what? Um, um, this is how Auntie Nina act, or this is how things are done. Is it a good saying? Is it a positive thing they say, or it is a negative thing? Reputation can be positive. Reputation can be negative. So we'll be learning about that. But this person in the Bible called Daniel had a good reputation. So we'll be learning about some of the things he did. That stands out that we think that these make sense. Well, this is the reason why we are saying that Daniel had a good reputation. And how can we apply it to our life as precious children? So uh, we will go ahead now and let Jeremiah read for us. Daniel chapter what? Daniel chapter one, verse one to 21. Daniel, over to you. And Daniel Jeremiah. chapter Daniel chapter 1, verse 1 to 21. I'm reading from the NIV. In the third year of the reign of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, and Nushkapaz, king of Babylon, came to Jerusalem, and we sang it. And the Lord delivered Jehoiakim, king of Judah, into his hands, along with some of the articles from the temple of God. These he carried off to the temple of his God in Babylonia and put in the treasure house of his God. Then the king ordered Hashkenabaz, chief of his court officials, to bring in the king's service some of the some of the Israelites from the royal family and the nobility, a young man without without any physical defense, handsome, showing aptitude for every kind of learning, well informed, quick to understand, qualified to serve in the king's palace, and he was he was to teach them the language and literature of the Babylonians. The king assigned them a daily amount of food and wine from the king's table. They were to be trained for three years. After that, they were to enter the king's service. Among those chosen were, were some from Judah, Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Hazariah. The chief official gave, gave them new names to Daniel, the, um, to Daniel, the name Bishnahazer, to Hananiah, Shadrach, to Mishael, Mishab and to Hazarat Abnico. But Daniel, but Daniel res resolved not to defile himself with the royal food and wine. He asked the, the chief official for permission not to defile himself this way. Now God had caused the official to show um, favor and compassion to Daniel. But the official told Daniel, I'm afraid of my Lord, the King, who has, who has assigned your food and drink. Why should he see you looking worse than the, all the other men your age? The king would not. Would, the king would then have my head because of you. Daniel said to the guard, whom the, the chief official had appointed over Daniel, Hananiah, Michelle, and Hezariah, um, please test your servants for ten days. Give us nothing but vegetables to eat and water to drink. Then compare our appearances with 
that of the young men who ate the royal food and treats your servants in accordance with what you see. So he agreed to this te and tested them for 10 days. At the end of the 10 days, they looked healthier and better nourished than, than any other the young men who ate the royal food. So the guards took away their choice of food and wine they were to drink and give them vegetables and said, to these four men, uh, to, for these young four men, God gave them wisdom, knowledge, God gave them knowledge and understanding for all kinds of literature and learning. And Daniel could understand visions and dreams of all kinds. At the end of the time set by the king to bring them into his service, the chief official presented them to, to Nebuchadnezzar. The king talked to them and he found none equal to Daniel, Hananiah, Michelle, and Hazariah. So they entered the king's service and every matter of wisdom and understanding about what which the king questioned him about. He found them 10 times better than all the magicians and enchantress in his whole kingdom. And Daniel remained there until the first year of King Cyrus. Amen. 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 Jeremiah, fantastic reading. God richly bless you. I know it was a long one. God richly bless you. Fantastic one. I'm so proud of you. Let me give you a big kiss for that. Awesome. Hey, precious ones, we had a story and I know you read the story too, right? Now, before I let one of you summarize what was just read, right? I just want to ask you a question. And be frank and let's just, we are discussing it. And before we even go straight into the main um, discussion itself, but I just want to ask you precious ones, just imagine, right? What will you do if some of your friends at school, right? Wanted you to try, I'll use the word cigarette, right? We know we are not supposed to, right? What would be your first reaction? What would be your first reaction? You've gone to school, a friend of yours tells you, hey, it is good to, to get some cigarette and smoke. What will be your first reaction? Yes, Ariel. My first reaction would be really shocked because that's not something that we're supposed to be doing at this age. And our body is a temple of God. We're not supposed to be doing anything bad to it, but we're supposed to be keeping it safe. Fantastic. His reaction will be what? Shock, like, ooh, we're not supposed to do this. And he says something I love so much. Our, our body is a temple of God. And if God doesn't like that, then you are not supposed to do that. Who else? Yes, um, Jer um, Benedict, your hand was up. And then we come to Joshua. Uh, I would just say I know no things and tell them that smoking is not right. And putting dirt and all those garbage into your lungs and it's going to get harder for you to breathe. Fantastic. He will say no, because what I'm going to do, I'm just going to smoke all my lungs up and we'll get to a point that I will not be able to breathe. So you know what? No, thank you. Right. Fantastic contribution, Benedict. Yes, Joshua. I'll be disappointed because I don't know. Like, I would be like, why would you do this? Because it will hurt your body and your lungs and it'll do stuff. Um, do stuff back to your lungs. Exactly. Joshua too will be shocked like, no, you're not supposed to do this. And why are you even doing this in the first place? Where did you even get it from? So that, that statement from your friend will shock you and you will say that what? No, right? Okay. How about something not as harmful, right? But still wrong. Like a friend urging you to watch a PG-13 movie without a permission from your parent, right? So now we know it's not this thing that your friend is trying to tell you to do, that one is not harmful, right? But now your friend is telling, oh, did you watch that movie last week? Oh, my mom told me not to watch it, but I watched it. It's PG-13, I'm not 13, but I watched it. If a friend shared that with you and told you to go watch a movie like that, what would be your reaction? Or what will you say? Yes, Jaden. Jaden hand was up. And then we'll come to Bella. And then we'll go to Adjo. 
So I would say I would love to, but no. I would love to, but no. Awesome. I love your honest answer. I would love to, but no. Fantastic one. Great contribution, Jaden. Yeah, we'll go to Bella. I would be um, a little disappointed in my friend's choice of action, really, because I thought I had chosen out good friends for myself. So I think I'd be a little disappointed. Yeah, so you'll be disappointed that your friend is actually talking you into doing something that is wrong, right? So Bella is going to be very disappointed. Like, really? This is what you do. And remember, we are supposed to make good friends, right? So if your friend is talking you into doing something that you know is wrong, then that is questionable, right? And it, it is good to be disappointed because you expected them not to do that but they did it, so you will be disappointed. God bless you, fantastic contribution, Bella. Then Adjo, we'll go to Adjo, then I'll come back to Jaden. Um, Benedict. Um, I would I would tell them that I can't do it, and I need to have permission from mommy or daddy. Ajwa will say, no, 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 I can't do this. I need permission from mom and dad because what? Mom and dad needs to say it's good to watch before I can watch it. So if my mom and dad says no, then I can watch it. Dad is, thank you. God bless you. Fantastic answer, Ajwa, too, for your honest answer. Yes, um, we'll go to Benedict here, and then we will do the summary. At first... I would ask them what movie are they telling me to watch? And after that, at that one, I will go ask my parents, hey, can I please watch this? Then they will take some a little bit of research and see if it's a good movie. And then the answer would be yes or no. I also okay. want to ask about the last thing. It's not that long, but you get a very good moral out of this. There's a story I remember. There's these two people who are really smart but then their peers kept calling them nerds and like they didn't like it one bit. And then the other, there was one boy named Calvin and he was, he, he, they were giving him cigarettes and beers and they said, here, take this and you'll be cool. Mm -hmm. And that's when he starts to give in and his friend, um, Nelson, Nelson yeah. He kept saying, no, smoking is not cool. Drinking is not cool. Drugs are not cool. And then he said, oh, this is my only chance to be cool. Then the police came in and caught him with drugs and he went to jail. Well, his friend, as, as he got caught, he, he finished college and he, was, he got all um, honors and he started his business. After that, they saw him riding in a Tesla after he pulled over and at his business place. Then said, ooh, wait, Nelson? They said, oh, hi, how have you been going? I said, and he and Nelson said, well, I, just, I finished college and I started a new business and it's going really well. While they, when, while Calvin and his gang did not do anything, that's when he recalled before he left and started college, he said that bad company corrupts good behavior. And this is also in the Bible. First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 13 says, do not be misled. Bad company corrupts good behavior. You're not sit around and be peer pressure. You have to stand up. This shows strength. Then you can say no when the devil is throwing stuff at you. This shows a lot of strength because all the peers were like, do it, do it. And, and Nelson said, big no. This is how yeah. we Christians have to be. When our friends tell us to do bad stuff, we have to avoid and dodge the attacks of the devil just as Job dodged the attacks of the devil and he became victorious as Nelson got his Tesla and his perfect job. Amen. Benedict has said everything, my summary. He has said it all. God bless you, Benedict. We need to be careful 
of the phrase we make, right? And it is in the Bible and he quoted it, right? In Corinthians, precious ones, we need to have the strength to say no. If you know that what you are saying, what a friend is telling you is bad. If you know the rules, remember, the rules in the Bonsu family is different from the, uh, the rules in the Aikings family and the rules in the what? In the Kusish family. Therefore, if I come and meet you in Sunday school and you telling me that, oh, I watched PG-13 movies in my house and I don't even ask my parents and they're cool with that. Remember, don't go home crying to mom. Oh, that family watch it. And therefore, how come I can't watch it? Remember, different houses and different rules, right? The fact that it is okay in one house doesn't mean it is okay in this house. Every parent knows how their definition of PG-13 to their children. But remember, it can be that that child that is telling you, I do this in my house and I don't even tell my family. You need to stand up and tell that child, no, you are wrong. It's PG-13. You cannot do this. You need to run it with mom and dad. And if they say no, who else do you go to? You need to tell your Sunday school teacher if it happened in church, right? For mom, for Sunday school teacher to talk to mom and dad, right? You are not telling on them. You just want them to do the right thing. But do you have to buy into the idea and go do it? No, you don't have to. You don't have to, right? So that is one thing that you need to always remember. It's not everything that our friends tells us that we need to. And then in the story about Daniel, the one that we read, right? Chapter one, verse one to 21. What did you, who can summarize the story from, from verse one to 21 that we read? Who can summarize what is in the story for us? Yes, Miriam. And then we'll come to Bennett. So Bennett, you can listen to what Miriam is saying. And then uh, where she didn't say it or didn't put all together, you can come in and add the rest to it. Yes, Miriam. So King Jehoiakim was a king for three years. And that's when King Nebuchadnezzar came to Jerusalem or Judah for to come and capture the um, Jerusalems. And then people, some people who he took was like Daniel, Daniel, Han, Hania, Azaria, and Michelle. Wow, you learned all the names. Good job. And then they changed their names into Bethlehem, Shadrach, Mesach, and Abednego. And then... And then when they went to the palace, the king's, King Nebuchadnezzar's chief told, told, um. It's okay if you don't remember it all. Another child can add to it, okay? Nice try, you did fantastic. God bless you. Who will add the rest to it? Yes, Benedict, and then Joshua will add the rest to you. That's okay, good yeah. job. I think the book of Nation needed help. So they did like they're they were they were given like on this diet. So they had they King the Book of Nation and like his official and that thing, soldier, gave them like food and they didn't want to defile themselves because like that food wasn't right. So they just said, please just give us fruits and vegetables. And they looked way better and handsomer than the people who ate the king's food. And also, don't forget that God gave them special power, especially Daniel, which will help us in the future reading, where Daniel is able to foretell dreams and interpret them. Fantastic, fantastic contribution. Yes, Joshua, you wanna add some to it? Yes. Um... Also, in it, he also um, Daniel also did a ten day fast to show that um, what do you call it? If you eat vegetables, 
and what do you call and water. It will make you more stronger and more nourished. But in but the king's food and the wine will make you not as um strong and nourished as the people who ate the vegetable and the water. Fantastic addition. Fantastic. So precious when here, it's not mom and dad that is saying, or Auntie Nina telling you eat your vegetables, right? The Bible tells it, right? <laughs> that what we should eat our vegetables. Daniel here fasted. Daniel and his people fasted, waited on the Lord. How many of you fast? Who has ever fasted? Precious ones, it's always good to fast. At least doing six in the morning to 12, right? By the time you're done waking up, going around reading your Bible, praying, it will be 12 o'clock, right? Sometimes it's good for us to fast. It's not every day we need to eat that whole meal and the pizza and the banco and the wache and then, then the Chick-fil-A and the McDonald's, right? Sometimes we need to rest our bellies. And then there was another piece of it that was in the Daniel and his people refused to eat the other meals of the king, right? but they focused on water and vegetables. And at the end of the way, they, they had more strength, right? They had more strength than those that ate all those extra food, the king and his people ate out those food. What we can tell here from the word, Daniel was able to stand up and say no, right? He learned to say no. No, I'm not doing this. No, I'm fasting and what? I'm going to break my fast with water and vegetables, right? Precious ones, we need to learn to say no. We have to learn to say no to things that we think are not right. Things that we think won't benefit us. Who also have a story or what could be your contribution to this topic? What we say that it is good what to say. What well, is it good to say no? or you do bad stuff because a friend says you should do it, that's why you're doing it. Or you need a Sunday school child, a precious person, children like you, do you have to pray to God for strength so that you'll be able to say no at all times? That is something that we'll be looking at. But before I call Benedict, all that I wanna say here too is that, well, the decisions we make during moments like these, what? gives us a reputation. It can be what either a good reputation or a bad reputation. If you give in and do what is wrong, our reputation for doing um, good is what? Will be very weak, right? Meaning that if you do what is wrong, your reputation will be what? Will be bad. If we quickly say no and stand firm, for what is morally right, then we build a strong reputation for doing what? For doing good, right? So the more you do good things, you are building good reputation for yourself. You are exhibiting what? Christ-like what? Um, example, the things that are right that God tells us to do, if you keep doing them, you are doing the right thing right? And you are building good reputation. So our discussion is going to be, be based on doing what is right and doing what is wrong. And when we do wrong things, what are some of the things that what we do is wrong? And then remember, as we do them, are we building good reputation or we are doing right reputation, uh, good reputation or bad reputation? So these are the two categories of things that we want to talk about discussion so it's on the floor precious ones related to life tell us what you have learned tell us um, um, examples of life experience what you've gone through and how you were able to say no things that you did that was wrong and you had a bad reputation and how you came out of it the floor is open yes benedict well to say no one day my mom, my mom and dad weren't here. And then we were banned from this game called Roblox. But then Jaden got on it anyways. Well, I urged him not to do it. Cause you're gonna get in really big trouble. And he went ahead and did it. And he said, hey, wanna join me? And I said, no, when you're getting whoopings 
I'm just going to sit there and look at you and eat popcorn. <laughs> so, so you can go on ahead and do bad. And that's when I left him. And that's when my parents came back, Gaten quickly unplugged the computer, which was wrong because my parents told us not to unplug the computer. Unplug the computer. That is when he got in really big trouble. I didn't unplug the computer. Okay. Okay, Maybe. so fantastic, fantastic contribution. So here we realize that Jaden didn't do what mom told them. Mom told them don't do this, but Jaden did it. But here, when Jaden did it, Jaden wanted what more people to join. So he asked his brother, brother, do you want to join me? And brother said, no, I'm, I don't want to get no whoopings or I do not want to get in trouble, right? So at that time, Benedict made a right decision for himself. He didn't want to what? He was able to stand firm and say, no. Do you think it was fun saying no? I'm sure it was very hard for him, right? Because he really want to play that roadblocks, right? But he has to say no because he didn't want to get well bad reputation. Fantastic example. Who else? Who else? I'm waiting, precious ones. Don't keep your hands down. If you don't give an example, then give us a contribution. What you think? Everybody has gone through these situations before, so don't put your hands down. Just give an example or tell us a story that relates to what we are talking about. Yes, Joshua. And I'll come to Jaden. People come and tell you to steal, or like when your friends do it. If you do it, you're going to get yourself a bad reputation because you people will find out and they're going to say you're a bad reputation. But if you don't do it, you're going to have a good reputation and people. Exactly. And when people um, see you, they're going to say, hey, he was a good kid. He didn't do bad stuff. Yeah. Fantastic contribution, Joshua. God richly bless you. If your friend tell you, oh, I see that thing in that neighbor's yard. Let's go get it. Because I've been asking my parents to get me one. They never got me that thing. Oh, let's go get it. And when, when we're done playing with it, we'll take it back. No, that's stealing. You didn't ask for it. And Joshua is saying, when they tell you to go steal and you do it, that is a bad reputation. Stealing is wrong. So it's a bad thing, right? Bad reputation. But when you stand firm and say, no, I'm not doing this because that's not what Daniel did. Daniel stood firm and prayed even when there was fun things for him to go do. So Daniel stood and fasted and ate his water and what, his vegetable, instead of drinking wine and all those meat. We are not saying that meat is wrong. That's not what he, we are saying. But at that point, Daniel wanted to fast with water and what, after water, eat his vegetables, right? So when that was not his plan, his plan was to do what he was doing. And then when he was offered something or other things, he stood up and said, no, what are some of the things that precious ones has come your way that you stood, no, you said no, you stood firm and said, no, I'm not doing this. And rather you did what is right for your own good reputation. Yes, the floor is open. Yes, Jaden. Yeah, this remind, reminds me of a time when we were riding bikes and then that's when my mom said not to race with people in COVID-19 and someone said, can you race me? So I just said no. Fantastic, fantastic. Janine stood firm and said no to keep safe during the pandemic or during this time of pandemic he went outside a friend wanted to play so do you want to race me he said no why because COVID-19 right six feet apart and he didn't want to do that so he said no why because mom told him fantastic Jaden keep building good reputation good one yes uh we'll go to Bella and then we come to Jeremiah and we go to Miriam Adjoa, was your hand up? No? Okay. Let's go to Bella then. So one time at school, um, after recess, it was time to get back to working and finishing up our writing. 
But um, two of the people who sit at my table group decided that they would secretly play and set, uh, secretly talk to each other instead of paying attention and doing their work. And they asked me to join them and I said no because I knew they would get in trouble. And then later, Miss my, my teacher <laughs> caught them and they got in trouble. Oh, fantastic one. I'm so proud of you that what you made the right decision by saying, you know, I'm not doing the this is against school rules. And if I do it, I will get in trouble. At that point, it is God that gave you that wisdom, right? It is God that gives wisdom. So precious one, we always have to ask God to ask for God's wisdom. When we pray, God grant me wisdom. We need wisdom in every step of our life. We need wisdom, precious ones. Bella, God bless you. And thank you. God bless you. I'm proud of all of you for standing up and saying no to build your own good reputation. We'll go to Jeremiah and then we'll go to Miriam. Like when your friend urges you to cheat on a test with him? Oh, that's a big one. When a friend urges you to cheat in a test, when you do that, you can be even be fired from, is that, do you hear the word fired? You'll be, you'll be what? You'll be told not to what? Come to the school and you'll be expelled from the school, right? They will tell you, nope, don't come back to school, right? I'm in school now. And sometimes when we even turn in our work because of plagiarism now, if it's somebody's work, they will say that, oh, some other, you need to reference it because that's somebody's work. And I'm sure they are teaching some of you at school. Yes, cheating is a big thing. Cheating is the same as stealing, right? You're stealing. You're stealing something that is not yours. Precious one, I'm begging all of you, stay away from cheating. You in school is your, I always tell my kids that school is your job. Precious ones, your job is what? Schooling, going to school. So do everything that you can to stay out of trouble, including cheating in the test, in your assignment, in your homework, doing somebody's homework for them so you can go play. Stay away from that. Use the word no. If you don't understand, explain to them, but don't give them the answers, right? God bless you, Jeremiah. I'm proud of you for, for, for saying that. Uh, who else? I think Miriam Hen was up, and I'll come to the Yabua's family. Yes, Miriam. One day when me and my little sister was cleaning our room, my little sister said she didn't want to clean her room, so she wasn't cleaning, but I was cleaning my room. So then when my mom came and she was checking our rooms, I was finished, but my little sister wasn't, so she needed to clean and to clean the bed, her bedroom when I was outside playing. Ah! Um, that was a good one. But Judy, I'm sure it wasn't fun, right? Because now <laughs> Miriam has to be outside playing and you have to finish it up your cleaning. So here, your sister Miriam made the right decision for herself. Fantastic answer. God bless you. And I know Judith also learned from that. And next time she is going to uh, clean her room so fast so she can go play. Fantastic answer. We'll come to the Yabua's family and we'll go on. Come first. You can go fast. Okay. So this reminds me of a story. There are there these two boys. One of them was like, one of them was studying for the, cause they had their, they were in high school and they were gonna take their final exam. One of them was partying. Well, the other one told him to study and he kept like drinking. Well, that's not good. And like, that can really hurt. Especially if it's gonna be very hard to wake up cause of the chemicals composed and those things that he was doing. Well, the other boy, who was acting smart, studied hard, woke up with a fresh mind, and got an A and graduated. The other boy, he got an, he got an F, and his parents were so disappointed in him. Mm. And he and he was laughing at him and like pu pushing him around at school. And he said, Won't, never underestimate people because that person you're bullying, you might just end up working for him. And he worked for him all right. How? He was a lawyer and he and he and the boy that who was not studying 
He was a receptionist. Fantastic story. God bless you. It looks like Jaden was really enjoying it. So he said, how? God bless you, Jaden. You're enjoying your own brother's story and I'm enjoying it too. Yes, Jaden, your hand was up. This reminds me of a time when the computer was off and Yas said, come join me. And I just said, no, I love to, but no, I have to shower. Awesome, Jaden has to shower. So because of that, he decided to stay away from the computer so he can go shower. These are basic things that happen in our lives all the time and we take them for granted. But the little, little saying no to things that are not like mom telling you go shower. You said, oh, I'm coming and you'll be glued to the computer for like five minutes, right? That is disobedient. You, went, you are not listening, right? You need to be able to say no to things that you love so much, that you worship so much. Sometimes you need to stay away from them for a little bit. Like what, staying away from the video game and the computers and going to read your Bible for like five minutes or learning a memory verse in the Bible. It goes a long way in helping you and I, right? Yes, I draw your hand is up. At school for lunch theater, we watched the movie and um, Brother Bear, he, he um, his friends told him to steal a watermelon from a farmer, but he said that he wouldn't do it. He wouldn't do it. Fantastic story. So here, Ajwa is letting us know what somebody stood up and said, no, I'm not doing this. It is good for us to say no. It is not wrong to say what? You saying no doesn't mean you're a bad person or no, it doesn't make you right. No, you can say no if you know what, what is in front of you, pay your judgment. It's wrong, right? If it is wrong, say no. There is a question that I want to throw here so that we can talk about it and then bring our lesson to an end. How did Daniel prove he and his com uh, companions, right, didn't need to eat, right, the king's food. How did Daniel prove, oh, okay, let me skip, um, stay away from that, but let me ask you another question. How was Daniel rewarded for having a strong reputation of one who honors God? How was Daniel rewarded for having a strong reputation of one who honors God. Now here, we want all of you to, all of you to tell me something, right? So I think Ariel has not talked for a while. Let's call Ariel, Ariel. Um, he was rewarded wisdom. He was rewarded knowledge and he was allowed to serve in the kingdom. Fantastic. We're going to talk about this part for about two minutes. He was rewarded knowledge and he was rewarded what? Wisdom. He was re and also rewarded to serve in the king's what, palace, right? Now, precious ones, what are some of the things? Remember, for him learning to say no to certain things, for him to stay faithful with, to God, right? Doing the right thing and saying no to things that came his way. He was rewarded with wisdom and knowledge and was allowed to serve in the king's palace. Precious one, what have you learned? Or what do you, what prayer what we have talked about, right? And the scriptures that we have read. What have you learned that you can relate to your life? That okay, I was I don't want to make it long with it. So I'll come back. Yes, Adra. What what did you what can you learn from what we just read about the question I asked about Daniel? And then the answer that Ariel gave. What what can you learn from that? Yes, Adjo. I learned that um that uh, we sh we shouldn't do like bad stuff, and and if we do good stuff, we will be rewarded like Daniel. We shouldn't do bad things, right? And when we do those bad things, we are building bad reputation for ourselves. But when we do good things, so Adua, 
You said good things. Good things like what? What are some of the good things that when you do, you will be God will reward you like the way he rewarded Daniel, right? With wisdom and knowledge. God rewarded Daniel with wisdom and knowledge, right? And then the king also allowed him to come and work in his palace. So let's come to the aspect of God rewards. What are some of the things that when you do, Adra, God will reward you with wisdom and knowledge, long life, um, prosperity and all that. Yes, Adra. He will reward me for not like stealing stuff and not hurting anyone. Not hurting anyone. God bless you. Yes, uh, Joshua. When you're being obedient to what your mom or dad says, God will bless you. God will bless you for doing what, what is right. Or well, obeying mom and dad. When mom says sit, you sit. Go to bed, you go to bed. Yes, Jaden. So I have something that I I have done before in this memory class. That is Joshua 1 verse 9. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Amen. Amen. Joshua, Jaden just read to us that one. Have I not commanded you to be strong and courageous? So remember, God says what? Well, be strong and courageous. So when your friends come to you telling you bad stuff, go do this and go that. God is saying that what? I've empowered you with strength. I've given you the spirit of courage. So say no. Don't do these things that they are asking you to do so that you will build good word reputation for yourself. And by you doing what is right in the sight of God, God will bless you. God will give you good health. God will give you divine protection. God will grant you wisdom and knowledge. God will grant you long life, right? These are the things that God will help you with, right? Which is one. Fantastic one, uh, Jaden. Ah, yes, we'll go to um, Benedict. So now we are wrapping up, precious ones. I don't know why Joshua keeps smiling, but I'm yet to come to Joshua. <laughs> yes, Benedict. I just want to branch up Ariel's um, yeah. statement about mm -hmm. wisdom. If there's any superpower in the world that you could ask for, the best one to choose is wisdom. Because with wisdom and that knowledge, you could do anything with it to your advantage. And But mostly God wants you to help others more than yourself. Solomon, Solomon asks for it. God usually gives that gift. That's very, very gift to people. And you can pray for that if you want, want wisdom. But I would like to see God with my own two eyes someday. So some, someday he will appear to me. And if you want to do that, don't think it's going to be easy because there will be tests. Fantastic. Benedict's desire is to see God. Precious one, some of you may think it's funny, but it is not. If that is his heart desire, God will appear to him. The Bible says that we should wish, we should desire, and he, the Lord, will grant it unto us. Remember, ask, and it shall be given unto you. Ask God, desire in your heart the God, I want to see you, and God will what? Appear unto you. God, I need wisdom and knowledge, and God will grant it unto you. The word, Jeremiah 33, verse 3, right? Precious ones, do not forget that whatever we ask is in his name shall be given unto us. May the Lord bless you. Fantastic uh, sharing. Yes, we are going, we are running up. We are summing up. So we'll go to Jeremiah. So Jeremiah, what can you share with us? From what you have learned today, what can you share with us? God is able to do mysterious things. God is able to do mysterious things. Like what? He's able to help you and when you're in like a troubled time. God will step in and help you in times of trouble. He will deliver you, right? If you are in a pit, God will pick you from there and put you on a higher ground. Our God is able. Your God is able. My God is able. He can do 
everything for us. Aren't you proud of this God, this mighty God? I am. How about you? I'm sure you are too. Fantastic contribution. Remember, Jeremiah, God is able. Go to him with anything and he will do it for you. Yes, Joshua. What have you learned today? Heard the story we just um, learned about. That um, when you put your mind into something, it's going to happen by God. If you put your mind into something, it will happen by God. Daniel put his mind onto something, right? And he achieved it. He even was healthier than those that were eating every day, right? And what? It's not only that. Even though he stood, he stood, he said no and stood firm and built what good reputation in the sight of man. But in the sight of God, God granted him more wisdom and knowledge. Fantastic one. Whatever you put your eyes on, finish it. Don't touch a piece of it and leave it. Be a child that whatever you set your eyes on, finish it. When it's math homework, finish it. If you don't understand, ask. Don't leave a piece behind for the teacher to do for you. Finish it, homework, ask mom and dad for help and they will help you. Fantastic contribution. Yes, we go to Ariel and we come to Agile. Uh, what I've learned is that saying no doesn't make you a bad person. Um, if you know uh, what you're doing is right and if you know it is right in front of God, then feel free to do it because it's not gonna make you have a bad uh, reputation. Other people can admire you and they can be impacted by what you do. Wow, Ariel, fantastic one. That's a big one. If people don't agree with you for saying no, so be it. You know what you're doing is right. So far as your heart or whatever you're doing is right in the sight of God, that's all you need. Fantastic one. God bless you, Ariel. God bless you. Yes, we go to Ajwa and then we go to Bella and we go to Miriam and then we go to Judith and then we bring our lesson to an end. Yes, Ajwa. I learned that if, if you pray about something, your hopes and dreams will come true. If you pray about something, your hopes and dreams will come true. So here, it's not about you praying about something. If you pray that, one day, Adrian, when you grow up, what do you want to become? A hairstylist. A hairstylist, right? So because she want to be a hairstylist, remember, if she prays that God should help her, she will one day what? Become, become a hairstylist, right? I know kids, they always change their whatever they want to become, right? But that is her dreams. But God's plan for her life may be different from what she's talking about. And it's only God's purpose for her life that will come to pass, right? Many are the plans of, 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 of the righteous, right? But it's only the plan of God that will always stand. God bless you, precious one, Idra. Let's go to Bella. Then we go to um, Miriam and Judy. Bella, what have you learned today? Today I learned that... Um make saying no doesn't make you a bad person also you don't always have to be peer pressured um because whatever you if you know you're doing something right then um you should keep going with it and let the other people continue with their decisions because they are not going to end up right in the end but you will because you did the right thing and you follow directions and you knew it was right for you so you followed it fantastic god bless you bella bella is saying that peer pressure don't let your friend pressure you to do what is wrong it goes um along with what um Ariel said do not look on the side say oh i'm the only person that said no okay let me just hop into those that say yes no be able to stand firm on what you say if it is a no it's a no nothing else right you have to allow yourself, excuse me, you have to, to, to be able to say no. Even if other friends are saying what, yes, don't be moved by what the popular people or what the majority, don't try to be on the majority side when it is wrong. Be on the fewer side and know what you are doing is right. God richly bless you. Yes, Miriam. And then we we'll go to Judith. So 
what I have learned today is that when you do things that people will know about you, like when you act mean, people say that you are a bad kid. If you act good, people say you're a good kid. If you act serious, people know that you're serious about your work. So whenever you do things outside, people will talk about it. People will say things that she's, she or he's a good girl, a good boy, or something. Okay, fantastic. So what Miriam is saying is that she's, she has learned that good reputation is good and bad reputation not good. Whatever you do, you have to think twice and ask yourself, what I'm doing, what will people say about me? If I keep stealing, what will people be saying? that, uh, oh, this person, oh, he's a thief. And if people keep saying that, is that a good reputation or a bad reputation? But as precious ones, whatever we do, we have to make sure that what? It is much better, Bella. I can see your face. Now go back, go back to where you were, whatever you turn on. So it, whatever we do, we have to make sure that what? It is a good reputation as precious one, okay? Awesome. Bella, can you turn what you turned on? Was it a light? Okay. Now let's go to Judy. Judy, what have you learned today? I learned that if you're doing fasting, you can also pray while you pray and read the Bible while you're waiting. She has learned that as precious children, she needs to fast. And she shouldn't just sit on the dining table asking, is it 12 yet? Is it 12 yet? Is it 12 yet? Once you have the beggar, you have your tea, you have your food, you have everything um, on the table waiting to eat. But you should read your Bible and pray just like what Daniel did. So it's good to fast. But make sure mommy and daddy is okay before you do that. So before I wrap everything up, I'll hear from um, Benedict and then I will bring it to an end. Yes, Benedict. I just wanna add just something real little to the majority fact. Just cause everybody's doing something doesn't mean you should do it too. This is the same thing in the end times when the antichrist will be released. He would be, be an apostle to Jesus and be like Jesus and because the, the Bible even calls the devil the prince of the air. Let us learn that we should not just follow the crowd. We should think outside of the box. You think, what happens if I do this? What happens if, if I'm going, what's the consequences? What are the good things that's going to come out of what happened? Because just know, every time you sin, God takes time out of your life. And it is true. God shortens your life bit by bit by bit. That is why you have to stay away from every bad thing possible. Stay away from all the devil attacks that is thrown at you. Dodge all those arrows using the sword. The sword, your Bible. Using that knowledge, those memories that you write them in the back of your head, pull them out and use them to fight. Hallelujah. Amen, Apostle Benedict. God richly bless you. That is my young apostle. God bless you. As precious ones, you need to have the word. See, Benedict, all your the precious children are putting their hands together for you. We need the sword. The sword is the word of God. We need our sword. And then he also said that we need to learn our memory verse because when we have the word of God at the back of our head, when the enemy come to us, what, with his lies, we'll be able to use the word of God against the devil, right? And then whatever that we are doing, when something bad comes in our way, we should think outside the box. Outside the box is the right. Will mommy and daddy be happy about this? Does this please God? Remember, even if mommy and daddy doesn't see you, they're all present God, right? He's everywhere. When mommy and daddy is not watching, he is watching you. 
Therefore, we need to be right with God and God will bless us for that. May the Lord bless all of us tonight. May the Lord keep us all. And even as we have learned his way, precious one, today we talked about what? A character in the Bible called Daniel. Daniel, and then we read from Daniel chapter one, verse one to 21. And it, the sub theme was what Daniel chooses to honor God, right? So, so even when the enemy came to him or the other people were telling him to what? Eat and drink and, and feast with them. Daniel decided to continue with his fasting and then what? Drink water and vegetable. And at the end of the day, he even had more energy than those that were feasting every day. And the Bible says that what? God granted him with wisdom and knowledge for being obedient, for saying no and staying focused, right? And then when we came to the physical, the king also award, awarded him by letting him work in the palace. So precious ones, there is reward for saying no. There is a reward in the sight of God for saying no. And I pray that we precious ones will walk in that way and will stay right with God as at all times. A reputation is built by doing something over and over again. You don't only do it one time and then come back and do it another time. If you do what is right over and over, you build a reputation for doing good. If you do what is not right over and over, you build a reputation for doing what is wrong. The stronger your reputation, is for doing good or what is right, the closer you will feel to God. Because what? Our God is pure. He's holy, right? So the more right things you do, you get closer and closer to God. You are building a closer relationship with the almighty God. And it is easy, why? Right? And it is easy to continue to do what is right. Precious ones, Others will say you are as wrong as a strong Christian. Someone can even just look at you and say, oh, as for this precious one, she loves God. He loves God. He's a good child. Why? Because you have been building good reputation. We're doing what is right over and over and over again. Daniel's reputation was obviously what? A strong one. No matter the situation in which you find yourself in. No matter the situation which he found himself in, he always honored God and not let the evil enter his life. He always what chose to do what was right before God. Jaden, your hand has been up uh, and I have to bring my, my, my lesson to an end, but I will allow Jaden to tell us what he want to tell us and then we will end. Okay, Jaden. Can I do the closing prayer? You want to do, you want to pray for us, right? Okay. We have come to the end of, of our lesson. We will let Jason, Jaden is led to pray for us for the first time. So let Jason, uh, Jaden pray for us and then we live. Yes, Jaden. So we are praying, precious ones. Dear God, thank you for your wise example. Thank you for speaking to the world and speaking to my heart. Thank you for giving me help when I ask. And thank you for whispering wisdom when I don't even know that I need it. Help me always to remember that you are there, always to seek you fast, and always to follow the direction you give. When the word gets loud in my brain, get confessed. Help me to always stop, be still, and listen to the sound of my talking heart. Amen. 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 God bless all of you. Fantastic one. God bless all of you. Until then, precious one is bye. We love you. Bye. bye.